today is Leah Michelle's birthday. But today, me and Lucas are also going to do a 99 cent store haul. We are in the Midwest right now. And last week we went to Los Angeles, which has a pretty popular store, at least I view it as popular. The 99 cent store. Whoa! Before we get into this haul, we need to mention something really sadded, saddening that happened. I wasn't aware of this. But now I am. The 99 cent store says everywhere. 99 cents only stores. But then when you walk in, you see stuff that's even $5. Dude, you know this because I didn't. I didn't. I mean, maybe they're getting around it by having it for 99. They make it seem like it's a 99 cent store only. That's all that will be in there. But then they, yeah, they throw in all these other items that aren't that at all. Let's get into this how. The first thing I got was an eyelash curler. And the reason why I got this is because I watched this YouTube video once, and I'm actually kind of embarrassed that I'm saying this on the internet, but it was a video about how to, <laughs> how to look pretty or something. No, it was how to look pretty or but without makeup. They said, curling your eyelashes like will make you look so much prettier. Oh my God, these actually are triggering to me. Cause I remember being a kid and these scared me so much. It looks like something that you would take out your eyeball with. Does it irk you? It really does. And I'm also scared to use it because I just don't want to rip off my beautiful, long, luscious eyelashes. You have to hold it for firmly for 20 seconds, it says. That's way too long, 20 seconds. All right, so this is the before. It just, just looks so wrong. Oh, I didn't get it. You've told it for 20 seconds as well. How did I blink during that 20 seconds? You just can't, it's the price of beauty. Oh my God, you got them. One, two. Are you pushing hard? No. You didn't push <laughs> I hard enough. Because I'm gonna bust out laughing and then I'm gonna whip up my fucking eyelashes. <laughs> you have to hold it way longer than that. I hate this. I already know that I would never do this every day. Like, even if it makes me look like Court and Haynes, I'm still not gonna do it every day. No, I didn't mean Court and Haynes. Well, Court and Haynes is hot, but who's that other guy? Hunter Haynes. Wait, the country singer? Yeah. <sighs> I hate this. I mean something. Yeah, there is a difference. When it I added an oomph. So Wait, do I even have eyelashes? Yeah. Like not even good ones though. No, everyone always says that like our family has the longest eyelashes. But not I don't think I'm part of it. That's why me trying to get attention. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not pretty. <laughs> no, but um asking everyone to comment. You have the prettiest eyelashes ever. If I was gonna go to like bulldogging or something, I think I would use this because don't people treat hot people better? Oh, pretty privilege. Yeah. For 99 cents, this is something that everyone could do to help their appearance. Because appearance is all that matters. Remember that. Oh, next I got baby powder. <laughs> it just gives up bad vibes. Why? They're like, people only use this for negative things. First of all, what it's actually meant for, isn't it for babies with diaper rash? And then for adults. I still get diaper rash. For adults, isn't it like to fit into really tight latex pants? Negative. I was gonna get tight latex pants, but I don't even know where to get that. Uh, what else is negative about it? Keep going. I'm gonna put it like on their butt cheeks when they go to the amusement park. So it's just like a negative the product. The only reason why I got it is because people have told me before, oh my gosh, um, <laughs> you, people have told me, you smell like baby powder. That is an insult. Like it's happened, I would probably say five times in my life. who says this? It's, it's happened before. Like people <laughs> in, in my class. People think you just are a diaper rush boy. <laughs> no, but people said, no, no, like the people that have said it, said it as a compliment. <laughs> Ew, it's like saying you smell like a diaper. <laughs> so I wanna fully see what they're talking about, basically. And then I can test it. Test smell it. you, then smell this. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. It's already getting everywhere, so I'm just gonna smell like... Can you smell it or no? Yeah, yeah, I can smell it. It smells like soap. So do I smell like your hand or what? It's smells like, yeah, it smell like my, this pop. You actually do kind of, you smell like Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking, you know how thrift, I'm, <laughs> but you know how thrifted clothes have a smell? 
That's what it smells like. Is this thrifted? No, this is from um, Uniqlo. <laughs> Oh no, you don't smell like that. That does just smell like soap though. Yeah, it doesn't isn't bad. smell bad at all. Like how people just tell you smell like soap instead of baby powder? <laughs> but you don't think I smell like this? Um, not your arm. Your arm smells like Goodwill. What else did we get from the Nagasa store? Oh, Jojo Siwa Bush. She's literally in every store. Like it started out just being Claire's, then it was Claire's and Walmart. Now it's anywhere you go, she's there. The reason why I got it because I want to support my friend. Oh yeah, we both done videos with her. Our friend actually. Same. I think people just started brushing their teeth like a hundred years ago. So people have been around for like thousands and thousands of years. So why would I listen to something just because people started doing it a hundred years ago? I, you can call me old fashioned, but I- I actually read a book about how they convinced the public to use toothpaste. Cause back then people thought, if my mouth tastes bad or anything, I'm just gonna bite into an apple. <laughs> That's how they thought they'd clean their mouth. <gasps> oh, you stick this to your mirror? I don't know if it's a stick though, if it sticks. Yeah, I guess oh. it's just like a toothbrush cover. I remember being a kid and toothbrushes would come with cups, but they never do as an adult. What's this for, mouthwash? So I just assumed it was for to put your toothbrush in like this. You know how people do that in the Oh yeah, or they thing. say like, oh, that's how you rinse, but like, that sounds so annoying. I already brushed my teeth this morning and I don't wanna over brush because the dentist already told me that I brushed my teeth too um, aggressively. Same with my dentist. <laughs> they tell you that too? I swear, like how are we supposed to, so we aren't meant to brush our teeth is what you're saying because it hurts our gums. So you guys can just wash along. How to brush your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there probably a video on kids YouTube how to brush your teeth that has like literally 70 million views? I'm gonna cut this part of the video out and upload it on kids YouTube. Oh my God, the brush your teeth song. I bet you'd get like, you'd make so much money. <gasps> brush, brush. Brush your teeth, teeth, teeth. Whether your name is Brandon or Amanda, you gotta brush your teeth to be healthy. Do the top and bottom and then under with your tongue. What? Do an instant replay. I was touching a toothbrush with my thumb and stuff. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I already have a toothbrush, so I don't need this, but um. Jojo see what toothbrush is like legitimate. Um, we cut we kind of got like a lot of food from the dot from the 99 cents that we didn't know of. Like the Abba Zaba Chewy Taffy Peanut Butter Sunnel. What is Annabelle the company name? That's disgusting. Wait, Annabelle? Is the effing doll related to this? Oh! <laughs> oh. It just tastes like a marshmallow with peanut butter. Mmm. There's some peanut butter, there's some marshmallow flavor. It's like a toffee. Um, I don't really like foods like this though. They get all caught in your teeth. I am not gonna start a rumor about this. Are you going to? No. Okay. The next food that we got, <laughs> by, by food I just mean candy. Lucas Salsa Gutty. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing this wrong because this is Spanish. Yeah, I remember a girl from my elementary school brought a bunch of Lucas candy. I remember hating it. Well, because it was so spicy. Oh wait, there's wait. some sauce. Spaghetti, candy. but candy. Mm. It has That's some weird. like savory energy. It's strawberry flavor. I got it all over my effing hands. I mean, it definitely tastes better than when I was in elementary school and tried Lucas candy. Yeah, there's been times where I get bored of so many things. So this is like a good change. Mm -hmm. Hot candy strips. It wasn't really that hot. Um, I would make up a room more about this. Yeah, I actually really like that. Um, Rocky Road candy bar. I got this because I, I thought Rocky Road was an ice cream flavor. All right, what's Rocky Road ice cream again? It has like marshmallows in it, right? Marshmallow, it's chocolate ice cream. It has like peanuts in it. Handmade dark chocolate coated marshmallow mint with cashew. This is also made by the Annabelle brand. They must be the 99 cent oh my God, candy ew. brand. Wait, it's all crumbled. You guys can't, like it's chocolate, but you have marshmallow on the inside. This is Wait. <gasps> Look at it. Um, it just tastes like an Andy's mint. Ooh, I like that. I like this, Annabelle. Oh, I'm gonna make a rumor about that. Yeah, I like it. This is the under the food vi food part of the video, but we have one more thing left. Takis crisp. I've tried Takis, but I haven't tried the crisps, crisps version. Why are these potato chips way more addicting than potato chips in a bag. Like these, uh, yeah. I feel like I would just get addicted to them if I actually bought them on eating. Like you feel like you have to get to the bottom. Also, is this um 
in collaboration with Pringles, I know you could just steal their complete mm. idea. Lay's has a brand like this too. Mm. Look at it. <laughs> Wait, did yours taste oh, burnt? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> the classic thing. Did yours taste burnt though? A little bit. I like these better than regular Takis. That's good. I have one more. I'm making up a Roomba about this. I like it way better than regular Takis. These aren't as spicy as Hot Cheetos though, right? No, the reason why I like them better than normal Takis is because they aren't spicy. Mm, you're gonna say, there isn't that much spice. Wow. <laughs> I love how it says, face the intensity on the go. It's like, they weren't that intense. Oh, next up, I kind of regret getting this because I'm kind of annoyed. What is it? This is um Gorilla Snot Gel. Why did they title it that? That's disgusting. Wait, snot? <laughs> Ew! At first I thought you said Gorilla Snack Gel. I thought it was snack <laughs> gel. Like you eat on the go, you know? <laughs> no. Okay, so let's spike up your hair. Um, I guess I'll put Gorilla Snack in my hair for you guys. Or just for myself, actually. For both of us. I just was using the, the restroom and there's like all this white stuff on my t-shirt. It looked like I just walked out like a brothel or something. <laughs> Me when I queef. Oh. <laughs> uh. When he's queefing. <laughs> <laughs> the but thought of using gel in hair is just gross to me. I know people do it and it looks good, but like for me, I always hate it. It always looks so greasy, like, <laughs> ew. Looks great. I actually do kind of agree with you. I wouldn't do this every day, but there is something that's actually cool about it, and I'm not trying to be like ironic or whatever. The next thing I got from the Java Tree, I'm actually wearing right now. Okay, it's my underwear. <laughs> He's joking. Just um, joking. It's these cracks that I got. They were $3.99, and you know how cracks are like the new thing? Yeah, they actually are. I just don't get how stuff like this flies. This is the exact same design. Does Crocs just not care? Or like, you know what I mean? Even to the bottom of them, I'm pretty sure they look, even the dots on the front, everything looks so similar. When we were in Los Angeles, I wore it on our last day when we went on a walk. I Down Sunset them. Boulevard. Yeah, and I also wore them to the airport the whole time. I wore them in the airplane. How did they hold up throughout the day? They were comfortable. I haven't worn actual cracks in years. But I, I thought they were comfortable. The only thing is that there was a malfunction in the factory or something because there's this little long part that looks like a devil's horn. You're a little nub, but that is gross. I know, it grosses me out and it also makes the crack a little bit uncomfortable because when you're whacking, you keep pressing it down and you can feel oh, it on your toes. Little nubbity nub. Dingleberry, basically. Uh, literally. When I put them on in the hotel room, there was this warning sign that said, this product can expose you to a chemical which is known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects. That's fine though. Or other re reproductive harm. Yeah, when you go into any restaurant in LA, it says that. I haven't researched it, but um, I just wanted to let you guys Doesn't know. everything just kind of ruin your body? I think a lot of stuff. It's just that does. only, I think, I don't know if other states do this, but the only state that I've been to, at least, California, they have to disclose it. I haven't tried to have a baby in the last week, so should I should I test it for the video and like purposely have sex with a female? With the Crocs on? Yeah, with the Crocs on and then see if I can get someone pregnant. At the end of the day, I took them off and I did feel sentimental because I feel like these are part of me now. Oh, They match my soul since um, I'm a boy and boys wear blue. <laughs> Boys can't wear pink. So yeah, um, I'm gonna rate these cracks a six out of ten. So I got this nose trimmer and I remember when I was like 15 or something when I found out how dad has a nose trimmer, I was like, what the uh, uh, There was a stage in my life, so I don't know what happened because I'm not like this anymore, where well, I hated hair. Oh. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I remember being like, leg hair is disgusting, but now I just, I don't even shave my legs because it's just is so annoying. But I'm not like that anymore. That happened to me when I first started getting leg hair too. I think the reason why I didn't like it is because no other guys in my class had as thick of leg hair as me. I hit puberty first, I guess. 
<laughs> My bows drop force. <laughs> Mine are still up there. <laughs> okay. I have no nose has maybe a few. Oh yeah, you do. What up, me? I think I've actually grown a lot more in like the last couple years. Uh, we don't need it though. At least it doesn't look like. Yeah, sometimes I, this is kind of gross, but like if I do need it, I just like pick them out. Okay. Um, Thirty-five. This is two ninety-nine. Oh. You need effing batteries. And they don't tell you that. Really F you and like your whole entire, I don't know, I love you, but you know, I don't love you, but I kind of do. You're kind of cute. <laughs> the other way, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work that way either. <laughs> it was annoying ass. Close the battery cover. All right. It says, th that's- <laughs> <laughs> why did it change? <laughs> I don't know why I was screaming. Why did we do it? screaming, but I'm like, man, a good talk about it. <laughs> I have such tight nostrils, though. <laughs> Tightest <laughs> nostrils. I don't like it. Oh! I actually got some hair. It smells like it's boning, though. It sounds gross putting it in my nose now, but I guess who cares. It does kind of hurt. I know, this one isn't that good. But the one I got off Amazon also hurt. Okay, right up there. <laughs> okay. Do I still have nose hairs? Um, yeah. Let me see if you do. Your actually looks pretty bare. It looks like a really um adult thing to have. I know, like middle age. Honestly, I don't feel like I should have it right now. Like, I don't even feel like you should have it. I feel like, I honestly view it as a 40 year old up thing. Yeah, like when you start wearing tuxedos every day. When do you think you're gonna start doing that? I'm I was assuming when I'm like 31. Yeah, you're gonna start wearing tuxedos every day. Yeah, that's what you kind of have to. Um, next up we got, well, I actually really wanted these. It's these Batman sunglasses. $1.99 amazing value. I mean, it, that is amazing value. This is another one of those products where it's probably been in the Dollar Tree for, I would say 12 years. Look how dirty I Yeah, it's very musty. This is the type of product where it's been returned five times. My goal is to maybe have superpowers. Let's see. What's Batman superpowers? I think all he does is talk in a low voice. Yeah, okay, so let's see if I talk in a low voice since I talk like a little guy right now. I don't even reach your ears. Hi! <laughs> it made my voice high up. <laughs> Do you remember when it was a it was a trend like years ago, people that wear those in their profile pictures? Do you remember that? Oh, tiny glasses? Yeah, it was like everyone on Instagram did it. Yeah, it was kind of like an inside joke. I mean, I want to see what I look like. I know, actually, it's kind of cool. I like these ones because they're even more little. Well, like, they literally don't fit around my head. I know, like, it's got being a vibe. So nothing cool happened. I'm not Batman, but I do feel cool. Yeah, I feel like your whole essence changed. Next we got... Oh, let's just put these on and they'll see the Show magic. it. Show, don't tell. Wait, that couch break? Wait. <laughs> I can't. Wait, I actually break. The very last thing I got was this Von D surprise DIY dispenser. I just automatically don't get it. Like a dispenser? Like a I don't get dispenser? this brand. I don't know if it's the same brand, but I've seen this type of aesthetic at Target too. It's like the LOL group or something. Yeah, I think like five brands copy each other. Yeah, what aesthetic even is this? It is just like rainbow colorfulness. Lisa Frank. Hey, oh, feel energy. Wait, what's in this one? Okay. So there's like a notepad and Malco so far. Oh, this is a roll of stickers. Oh my god. This one has a token that says Vundies. Okay, something about this is like satisfying. Like, it's not <laughs> gross. <laughs> it actually looks <laughs> disgusting. So this basically is like an advent calendar. <gasps> 
Wait, this is a whale. <laughs> what, what is it for though? At first I thought it was an eraser. Just yeah, like, after you go to the owl. It's a gush. <laughs> you know, like, whatever this is, I don't know, but it's disgusting. Wait. Is this used? Guys, I didn't realize this. You see this pink, uh, like, outline, and then those colors all around it? I think the pink is where the sticker used to be. I know, what the hell? Oh, it comes with little um, stencils that you can stencil out things. Don't yeah. draw on me! I was gonna put this on like a little uh, <laughs> You know what I mean? Okay, I just used these tracer things and if you are um, a bad drawer and you want to trace shit and act like you're a good drawer, it works. Okay. Okay, and I know this sounds so annoying, but I just don't get it. Like, what are they trying yeah. to do? It doesn't accomplish anything. I get it, because like they use it for literally an afternoon. They use all these stickers, rip up everything, color on everything, destroy it all, it's in the trash that night. What it basically- This is a one day thing. You are right, it's basically a trash can item. So By the end of the day, it would be like this. Yeah. That was everything we got from the 99 cent store. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I wanted to fully recreate a beauty guru haul, and I hope I accomplished that. You can subscribe to both of us. What do you think of this day? It was great. Thank you guys for coming along. Class up. Okay, what's that from? Monsters. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Z's! <laughs>